kind of sick of bed, sick of bed. Hope everybody's doing well. So my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, darling. So guys, today we are um, heading to the water park. It's day two of our trip in Edmonton. Um, we did get some clips yesterday, so you will be able to see some of the things that we did. We had a lot of fun, especially in the new play area, or I think wherever they have like all these games. We weren't able to get to race cards and we weren't able to get to the aquarium. Neither do I think we will be able to get to the aquarium today. Although that was something that was very high up on my list because I wanted heavenly to see the animals. But we had quite a difficult time getting directions um, to the mall. So we wasted a lot of time trying to find places. But nonetheless, today's another day. Um, so we're heading to the water park and it should be a very fun day. I will try to film as much as possible. I do have like this, I can show you, but I have like this case for the GoPro that is basically cased in. So it should be able to go underwater and all, so we should get some very good turn shots. Left. I, I really turn want to see how heaven reacts to Northwest. the water and so forth. But yeah, this is the start of day two. Smiling, my mom. You guys, we've arrived at the mall, and we are just heading to the water park. As late as late can be. It's now two in the afternoon. So when I get there, I'll show you guys. So after we got past admissions, we were rather very confused as to the entrance of the pool. You can see us trying to figure out like where to go. She told us go into the family change room, but I think she just assumed that we understood what that meant. Because honestly, we didn't. Um, anyhow, we entered the family change room and immediately upon entering, I think we kind of understood, okay, that's probably a place where people leave their things. Um, so people left strollers. You can see different shoes. Honestly, it did not smell good. So we decided not to leave our things in there. Um, we made our way and just continued walking through the family change room. It was not private, honestly. So I don't know why they say this is a change room. You could see there's men there. There's like like it's a family I understand but like I can't change inside of here there's nothing private about that so we just moved on into the locker room and we bought two medium-sized lockers to leave kind of our valuables our phones and so forth had I known I honestly would have probably left the stroller in the vehicle I did not know the setup was like that um so you can see Shana's here is just paying for the lockers um this particular splash actually have cabanas for rental, day beds for rental. Um, they're very expensive. It's about a hundred and something dollars uh, just just for the day. Um, honestly, I would have paid the money had I known the setup was like that just for heavenly sake because she fell asleep and then the stroller was all we had. It was just very inconvenient. We thought that there was probably public spaces where people could settle, but this is what you're seeing is what there is. So now we got into the pool area. You can see all the slides. This place is really pretty. Like, I mean, it's really pretty. There's a lot going on. We wish that there was more people giving instructions because it can be overwhelming for your first time when you don't understand the processes and how things work. Um, and so we went up the slides and had to go back down to get tubes, which was rather very frustrating because the walk up is very long. The lines are very long. Um, but basically we found this small area where it's an eating area and we we honestly just left our things there and settled there because the children's pool as you can see was right on the side so we left our things on the table there and we made our way to the different slides Shanez and jeremy tag team that day and they did almost i don't know they did so many slides they were so tired afterwards it's like so funny um so then i did a couple of slides as well um and then we went into the wave the wave section that's where i'm pointing over there and now you would just basically look at some clips of Heavenly enjoying herself. Wow! Wow! Mama!
I couldn't swim, so they could not enjoy it as much. We had to wait a long time to get on the rides, and then after you walk all the way up, that's when they tell you you need a tube. And it's like, why isn't that instruction down below? You know? So, definitely, if you're going out to West Edmonton Mall, you need to rent a tube. Like, that's a must. That's not even an option. I would say to rent a tube, a single tube, a, and the waves kind of to really enjoy them. Like, you need to be on a tube. If it's not that, you'll be drinking a lot of water because tubes will just be covering you when the waves are coming. Um, but the day is ending. Heavenly, <laughs> Heavenly, enjoy herself. So you always see some clips of Heavenly enjoying herself but we could not film on the sides neither in the wave section and today is a long holiday so it's like there was a lot a lot of people and I think like it's just more difficult when there's a lot of people to do anything. I think of tomorrow we will be back on, on our road trip and heading back home to Calgary. Yeah we indeed had a wonderful time I enjoy every moment of it. Um, the slides were wonderful, the, the artificial sea, guys it feels like a real sea, so we enjoy it, it was very good, yeah. we had a lot of fun on the tubes and stuff, so yeah, a day well spent, so peace. And yesterday was fun too, West Edmonton Mall, it's a vibe, it's a vibe to be honest, um, they could yeah. improve on directions because it's very confusing to know where yeah. to go for everything, everything yeah. even confusing. inside of the attractions itself, everything seems very confusing. But other than that, it's definitely yeah, a vibe. It's worth a try. Okay guys, so we are leaving Edmonton. We're just going to show you guys what the drive from Edmonton to Calgary is like. And it should be about three hours, I think. But hope you enjoy.
guys, on our way, we actually spotted this outlet mall. So when you saw us pull up on the side of the road, it was us actually trying to decide whether we should have gone into the mall, um, like which we did. Um, and we actually enjoyed this mall. It's the Le Duc, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, premium outlet mall. Um, we found it to be a very nice mall. It was a good stop. Um, so this is a simple walkthrough of us experiencing the mall for the first time. I hope that you do enjoy. I tried filming afterwards when we got back on the road, but the batteries run out. Um, so definitely do enjoy the remainder of the vlog. Look at nice boots for you. You like the boots? <laughs> but you like that boot. You shouldn't have really seen any boots. Is that a nice one?